She said I'd find you here. Yeah, well, thanks for coming. You know, I told her that I didn't want to see you. Well, promised your mother. Well, why don't we just say that we did and don't? No, uh, it'll make her happy. Besides, I never get to talk to you. What's there to talk about? Your mother's worried about you. Oh. Oh, great. I'm leaving. No, well, listen, listen, she thinks I can help. You know, Mom and I can handle whatever it is all on our own. We've been fine since you left. Well, just hang on a minute, will you? This won't take long. I understand you were in a fight at school. Oh, so she's reporting me now. No, no. The school tried to call her first, and then they called me. She said you were out of school for two weeks. From what I heard, I'm surprised you weren't expelled. You know, we dealt with it without your help. All right, are we done? Can I go now? No, I'm not done. Your mom said that you were kicked off the baseball team. Missing practices, giving the coach a lot of guff. I thought you loved baseball. I've got other things that I need to worry about now, okay? Such as? Oh, like I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, and just when you think you've heard the worst. Your mom tells me that you and a friend were picked up for vandalizing a liquor store. You broke a window. You lit a trash can on fire. What the hell? I'm surprised you're not in jail. Next time you will be in jail. You're gonna blame that on your mom and me? Why should you care? You were never there! Well, I'm here now. I don't want to talk anymore. Then let's just cut to the chase. What the hell's going on with you? Are you on drugs or something? Do you think you can just walk right back into our lives and just fix everything? You left us, remember? You know, why don't you just go? Go back and crawl into another bottle. Oh, nice. You figured out I'm not perfect. <laughs> That's an understatement. Listen, no matter what you think of me, it doesn't make any sense for you to destroy your own life. I want to help you, but you've got to come halfway. I can't come halfway. I hate your guts. I wasn't there for you. I know that. That doesn't mean that I didn't care about you. I've always been proud of you. Oh, and like that's supposed to make me feel better. No. I guess not. Daniel. Can we at least agree to try to work this out together? <laughs>